don't play Amazon's New World Beta. That's their new MMO. Just don't play it, especially if you have an RTX 3090. It's not worth it. It could actually break your graphics card, like permanently. Permanently. Now you might not have a 3090, and so far I haven't seen reports of this happening to anybody else. Let me get out of your way. But there are actually multiple reports of this type of event happening. Let's see what's going on. So we've got this on the New World forum saying that, oh, good afternoon. So after hitting the play button for new, the New World beta, the game started to load, followed immediately by fan speeds increasing to 100%, FPS dropping to zero, and then my monitor turning off and my video card is no longer detected. So I reboot the PC and everything seemed to work fine. I even tried a few other games to make sure and I had no problems. So I hit play on New World again and the same thing happened, but this time I heard a loud pop. That's not what you wanna hear on your 3090. And now my 3090 won't get past post on boot up. So it looks like the game, is it, it's not that it's just not working on the 3090, it's that it's literally breaking the card and this is not the only person this has happened to, although this guy apparently had a similar issue breaking another 3090 during the alpha. So he says um, that this is the second one that broke during the alpha, he's looking to get a return. Now, if this does happen to you, get a return on your graphics card because no matter how poorly programmed a video game is, it should not break your card. And the fact that this isn't, at least so far, breaking other graphics cards, there must be something different about the RTX 3090. Now, this guy had it happen twice to his EVGA cards, but apparently this has been reported for other people as well. For example, this over here at Windows Central. By the way, I will put links to everything I talk about today in the description to this video. Um, uh, so another person claiming that it broke their EVGA, but I think I've seen reports of this on other people's uh, graphics cards as well. So this is not isolated incidents. As far as what's happening, as of the time of recording, Amazon has not responded to this, but here's what I'm assuming is happening. So it doesn't, it seems like the menu screens in New World have an uncapped frame rate, meaning your frame rate can shoot off into the thousands or whatever. Now, I've been in games like this and sometimes I'll hear like, capacitors or coil wine or something like that on my GPU when this happens. It's annoying when games do that, but it's it shouldn't break a graphics card. But I think for some reason, those uncapped frame rates uh, is probably what's doing it to these, but maybe we'll, we'll get more details in the future. But, it, but for now, I'm gonna say, definitely don't touch this new world beta if you have a 3090. And I'd honestly be a little hesitant to play it on anything else, because even though the 3090s are the ones we're apparently uh, getting this report for, uh, you know, that's sketchy that it can actually break a graphics card. A, even a badly programmed video game shouldn't actually break your graphics card. Anyway, so that's pretty interesting. Now in other tech news, we've got some, uh, some things. One is a quick update to uh, what I reported on yesterday. So we saw that the 6600 XT was rumored to launch on August 11th. I believe that's still the case, but we're seeing from Cortex, who has had accurate AMD launch information before regarding other graphics card launches as well as their FSR implementation. So I would trust this source, but again, rumors, grain of salt, all of that. Uh, saying that the non-XT version wouldn't come out until September or October. So just keep that in mind. Also, in other GPU rumors, we're seeing that the NVIDIA Hopper is supposedly gonna tape out soon, although this is a less reliable leaker. It still has a track history uh, to, to prove, I'd say, and kind of a, this is annoying. This weird, ambiguous post, which apparently somebody solved the mystery and it's NVIDIA's hopper will tape out soon. Tape out means they basically have finalized samples that are then ready to go into production, but this is still usually months out from an actual like, like mass production and launch. Um, also, by the way, if you think about Hopper, Hopper, I think some people th are under the impression that Hopper is the next gaming GPU from NVIDIA. But as far as I can tell, Hopper is supposed to be the next compute, like professional GPU from NVIDIA. And it's uh, Lovelace that's supposed to be the next gaming architecture. And that's gonna be a bit further along. We're gonna see the 30 Super Series more likely coming out in the next year, uh, rather than the next full on, um, full on general generational jump uh, from this. Although Hop, and the, the thing is that Hopper is a multi-GPU design. So you can have multiple GPU chips 
on the same um, on the same graphics card, basically. And um, you know, we've we've seen leaks about this before and what kind of performance that'll get you and all of that. Okay, in terms of CPUs, we're seeing that Intel's Core i9 2900K qualification sample, which by the way, a lot of times qualification samples so don't even necessarily perform as well, in, especially in early testing, as the final versions, is apparently stomping AMD's 5950 in single core and multi-core performance in Cinebench R20. Now this leak is coming from a pretty reliable source. This is Raichu. Raichu has had reliable leaks in the past. And this, uh, the, the S here is just a typo that was confirmed. But the tweet here is saying um, that this is a 12900K Nano C in a water cooler, Cinebench R20, single thread 810, multi thread 11600. And you're like, well, what does that even mean? Let's stack it up against uh, some other cards. Um, well, the folks over here at WCCF Tech have reported on this and they do have a nice uh, chart here for us that you can take a look at. And so in the single core performance, if you put that up against what a, a, a Ryzen 9 5950X usually gets, that's around 650, that's a big jump. What is that, like a 25% jump, something like that? It's pretty big and that's in single core performance. And we're seeing the multi-core up here jumping 11,600 versus the 10,428 from the Ryzen. Now some people are like, ah, it's beating beating AMD, what's going on? Guys, by the time this Alder Lake Core i9 comes out, the 5950 will have been out for what, like a year? If Intel couldn't actually beat AMD like completely like a year after their, their next card, then I'd be surprised. So what I'm hoping we're seeing here is getting back to where whoever launches the newest chip is the clear winner. That's what I'd like to see. However, I, I will go back and say um, that I feel like, I, I lost it here, but I feel like at one point I saw him um, saying that the uh, the the heat, uh, sorry, the, the like the power levels are an issue. I'm not sure where I saw it, but I'm fairly certain Raichu replied that the you know this looks good performance wise, but the power consumption and things like that might not be ideal in order to get that type of performance. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you today in hardware news. Huge thank you, like usual, to my uh, channel members. They hit that join button, help fund me. Also, I got a request to add a PayPal donation link, a suggestion at least to do that, and those are in my descriptions now if you want to fund like tech for me to review and purchase and help fund equipment for the channel, games to test, that kind of thing. No pressure. You know, you could just buy me a coffee or something. All right, I hope all of you have an excellent day. Thank you, subscribers. You are beautiful people.